I could have had an abortion so we could have a normal baby later on. How much would I have to pay you to switch babies? What? Get me a healthy baby and the $50,000 are yours. Breathe in and push. We're almost there. You do this. Just breathe in. One more push. Congratulations. You have a beautiful baby girl. Would you like to cut the umbilical cord, sir? Oh, no thanks. That's all you. We did it. I mean, you did it. We're parents, Cindy. Sweet little angels here. I'm really thirsty. Could I get some water? Of course, of course. No, you're right. There is something strange. She should be moving her legs more than that. Is there something wrong? Well, we can't know for sure until we run some tests, but her legs don't seem to be moving like they should. Are you telling me she's not going to be able to use her legs? Ma'am, please calm down. You've been through a lot. Yes, there is a possibility that your daughter might not be able to use her legs. They are moving a little. She might move them, but she will lose the ability through time. We're not sure yet. We will need to run some tests, but for now, she seems perfectly healthy. Perfectly healthy? How can you say that when she's going to be some handicapped freak? Handicapped freak? Cindy. You say that about our little girl. Can I hold her now? Of course. How is this possible? We had monthly checkups. Oh, she was supposed to come out normal. Ma'am, please calm down. There are hundreds of undetectable factors that we are not sure about until the baby is born. You don't know for sure. Sorry, sir. I will need to get the baby back. We will need to get her first vaccines and then do our checkups. What a sweet little angel. Little Emma. We decided to call you Emma. Do you like it? Thank you, nurse. Nurse Grant? Yes, Doctor? Please keep an eye on the mother while we're gone. She doesn't need stitches, but she's still bleeding. Understood. Cindy, you just gave life to a beautiful, sweet little girl. How can you call her a handicapped freak just because of an issue with her legs? Isn't that what she would be? No. With or without the use of her legs, I love her with all my heart already. Don't you? Cindy, when you said you wanted a child, wasn't it to love it unconditionally, no matter what? If they would have only detected it early on, I could have had an abortion, so we could have a normal baby later on. What? Are you saying you would have had an abortion and, and aborted this perfectly healthy baby just because she might not be able to walk? She's not healthy, Ed. She's disabled. Cindy, maybe if you hold her in your arms, your heart won't be so frozen. I just don't understand you. My parents are out in the, out in the waiting room. I can't wait to tell them how happy I am to be a father. I hope you'll reconsider how you feel about this. Take a look at you, okay? Oh, good. Looks like your uh, your bleeding stopped. Let's go ahead and get your pad changed. I can't have a handicapped baby. I just can't do it. Come on, she's not gonna be handicapped. She's gonna be handy capable. You'd be surprised. No, no, I wouldn't be. You don't get it. I don't want her. 
and I would do anything, and I mean anything, to... I would pay. Nurse? Hmm? How much would I have to pay you to switch babies? What? Any baby. Any baby that looks similar to her but is a healthy baby. I'm sure you could switch up tags, couldn't you? I'm sorry, no, that, that's... I could lose my career over that. There's security protocols. I'll give you $50,000. What? Pass me my checkbook, I'll write you a check. You cash it out, no questions asked. You get me a healthy baby, and the money's yours. Are you serious? I mean, would your husband not figure out something weird with the money, or...? He has his own money. This is mine. We don't have much time. I know you don't get paid much here. And you do have those student loans, don't you? And you want a house one day. Get me a healthy baby, and the $50,000 are yours. Well, you know, it's halfway around the world, but at least you made it here safely. I'm glad you're Dad, here. Dad, you got some mail. Emma, you're home. Look who's here to visit from Australia. Leo. How's my favorite little princess? I'm great. Had a few weeks off, and I bought you something. Whoa, this is amazing. Ah, there's that smile I love to see. So tell me, how was school today? It was fun. Say you saved my butt in math class. I was so lost. She's a complete genius. She understands everything. And she won a silver medal at her race last weekend. It's amazing. I don't know how she does it. Yeah, you're gonna have to remind me. Who's Sadie again? Oh, she's Emma's best friend from school. Ah. Emma, remind me. I still need to thank look <sighs> Miss Fa Sadie's mom for the vegetables she brought us from the garden. She's a really nice woman. Ever since her husband passed away last year, we've been helping each other a lot. Oh, uh, Dad, this letter was on the porch for you. Who sends letters nowadays? Hmm. Listen, let's just, let's head on in, uh, guys. Come on in. Come on. Tell me, tell me more about you, mate. It says this is from Elizabeth Grant. No idea who that is. Mom, you're home early. I'm here for just a second. I forgot my files. Cindy, don't you at least have time for a cup of tea? Leo's here. I'm sorry. I'm running late. I'll catch you guys later. It's all right, honey. She'll be back later. Okay. I'll just go to my room. Things aren't getting any better at home, are they? No. Cindy just works all the time. It's not like she has to. We're not poor. I don't know. To be honest, it feels like maybe she's avoiding something at home. And you're sure um, she's not having an affair? Pretty sure. I mean, she's always at work when I call. And I have friends who work in the same division. They assure me that she's always at work. I just feel really bad for Emma. It's so clear to me that she wants to have some attention from her mother, but Cindy doesn't seem to notice her. She's got to be blind. I could notice it straight away. I just don't, I don't understand. Why would Cindy not want to spend time with her daughter? Emma's such a sweet kid. Yeah, no, absolutely. You remember when she was born? At the hospital, at first they said that there was something wrong with her legs and she might gradually lose the ability to use them. Cindy was so stressed. She kept going on and on about not wanting to have a paraplegic for a child. Anyway, they ran some more tests. Turned out they were wrong. Everything's fine. <laughs> I remember that night. You 
called me about five or six times with updates at every turn. Yeah. Hey, thanks for being there. Well, Cindy was relieved at first, but something happened. I mean, just shortly after, it just seemed like she didn't want to bond with the child. She wouldn't breastfeed. I was always the one having to change diapers, having to put him into bed. She even could have taken maternity leave, but said she didn't want to. What? That's nuts. And with all the work that you did, with no maternity to leave, nor nothing. Yeah, that's all right. I loved every minute of raising Emma. That's why I wanted to be a dad. Mm. But with Cindy, she stopped wanting to be a mom the minute Emma was born. And so she became a workaholic. And let's just say, you can't have much of a relationship with someone who's barely there. Mm. I don't even know if she cares about us anymore. I'll get to this later. Hey, I'm hungry. Let's go get some dinner. Let's get first. Hi, hi. Hey, for once, you're home from work before dark. I'm sorry, I know I said I was gonna come home earlier, but I got another project and I just kind of, I know. you know. I know, Cindy. You always take on another project. Yeah. But you wouldn't believe the kind of bonus they'll give me for this one. What I do believe is how upset your daughter was when she found out that yet again, she wouldn't even get 10 minutes with her mother. I'll make it up to her. You've been saying that for 10 years. Last year, you didn't even go on vacation with us. And the year before that, you worked in the ho hotel the whole time and ignored us. Yeah, and who paid for that vacation? I did. Yeah, well, what do you want from me then? What do I want from you? I want us to be a family. We've been drifting apart ever since Emma was born. Did you get this letter? I just showed up today. Emma brought it in. Why? Did you read it yet? No, I, I looked at it, but I don't even know who Elizabeth Grant is. <laughs> hey, what'd you do that for? It's just not important. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? You're having an affair, is that it? No. Look, if you're having an affair, just tell me the truth. You have to trust me on this one, Ed. I'm not having an affair. But no good can come from reading this letter. Cindy, at this point, I just don't think I could trust you. I just can't. So you either give me that letter, or it's time for us to start talking about divorce. Okay. We'll get the divorce papers ready in the morning. You can sleep on the couch. Give me that letter. Hey! Give that back. Are you done? You wanna hit me again? Don't be shy, I can take it. You really are trash, Leo. What is going on? Oh, nothing, sweetheart. I'll explain tomorrow. Just go back to your room, okay? Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night, Mom. Good night. I'm not staying here another minute. I'm sorry you had to deal with that, Leo. Uh, it's all good, mate. Yeah, it's all good. Look, I think we should just read this letter. Yeah, we gotta get into this. Dear Ed Turner, you won't remember me, but for the last 11 years, I've not been able to forget the names of you, your wife, and the girl you've raised. My name is Elizabeth Grant. The night your daughter was born, I was on duty as a nurse at your wife's side. That night, after you walked out of the room, your wife Cindy offered me $50,000 to switch your baby with a similar looking healthy baby girl. I didn't want to, but I couldn't turn down such a huge amount. 
with all the economic difficulties I faced. I've always regretted what I did. This whole time, I remembered your name and the name of the mother whose baby I switched with yours. I recently learned that I have cancer and only have a few weeks left to live. I have to do what I feel is right and tell you the truth before it's too late. The girl you've raised is the daughter of a woman called Luna Foster. She lives in your city. This woman has also raised your biological daughter. I'll write a letter to her as well to tell her the whole story. I'll make sure to tell her you were in no way involved in this and that the only guilty ones are your wife, Cindy Turner. And myself. I hope I'm doing the right thing now. Though I know it will not make up for what wrong I have done. My most sincere apologies. Elizabeth Grant. We need to call the police. You're right. I need the police. Where the hell do you think you're going? So I guess you read the letter. And you know about the baby. That's right. And the police are on their way. No, God. Cindy. How could you have done this? We could have been so happy. Do you really want to know why I couldn't accept a handicapped daughter? Fine. I'll tell you. If you only met my family, which you haven't, because I don't talk to them, you would understand. I never told you about my sister, Meg, but she was paraplegic from birth. All my childhood, we always had to adapt to her. We couldn't go to tons of places that weren't wheelchair accessible. We could never play together. She couldn't play sports. I never had fun with her, even though my parents forced me to spend time with her. I couldn't play with normal kids because of her. I couldn't stand not doing what I wanted to. Like going swimming. They would force me to take her to the beach, but she would just be a bother. I wish she would just disappear. So I started ignoring her, pretend she wasn't there. And when we got older, I eventually erased her from my life. And that's why. That's why I couldn't accept having a daughter who's handicapped. And then, and then it was like I couldn't bond with a new baby. Feel right. I couldn't hold Emma without thinking about the baby I gave birth to, or more about Meg. Emma is not mine, and I can't pretend that she is. Being with her feels very wrong, and I can't chase the feeling away. So I buried myself in work. And I try to ignore it, but nothing seems to work. Still, it's hard for me to understand how you could have been so insensitive with your sister. Or, or how you could have pushed us away either. And poor Emma, you shut her out completely. Because she's a daily reminder of the horrible thing you did. And you don't even know the rest of it. What's that? Her daughter, her biological daughter. She was raised by Luna Foster. Her name's Sadie Foster. She's Emma's best friend in school. She helps Emma in math, English, history. Straight A student. She participates in wheelchair competitions. She's been in marathons. She's one of the top athletes in the school. I know her. She's a terrific girl. 
But would you see how terrific she was if you met her? When she was born, you wouldn't even give her the chance she deserved. You weren't ready to love her the way every child should be loved. But every child deserves unconditional love, Cindy. Everything you is true? Emma. This, this is too much. Emma, wait! Hey, Cindy. Look, uh, you might not believe this, but I'm glad you're doing a little better after your accident. I'll never walk again. I'll go to jail. You could have died. I could have. But instead, I'll never walk again. Look, I, I hate that all, all this has happened, but, uh, you should be grateful to be alive. I, uh, look, I just came down here to get you to sign these divorce papers. <laughs> so, uh, We'll be seeing each other at the, the custody hearing and the hearing for alimony as well, but I just wanted to ask you, do you want to see Emma again before they send it to you? I don't want to bring her down here if you're just going to ignore her. No. I don't want to see her. And what about Sadie? No, I don't want to see her either. You don't want to meet your biological daughter? No, and I don't want to look at you anymore either. Okay, okay. Let's go. It's really a shame, you know? Sadie is... Uh, she's truly an amazing girl. Just go away! You know, you don't have to push. I want to, it's fun. Whatever. Can you believe that we're like, going to be sisters? I don't know. It's a little weird, but not really. I'm happy. Me too. What a strange destiny. But all's well that ends well, don't you think? Hey guys, what did you think about the video? Do you have a similar exciting story to tell? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll use it in our next video. We're publishing new short stories every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to be the first to see the new Secret Diaries.